Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video. We are nearing the end of the season, so that means the battle adjustments, balance adjustments, sorry, it is early. The balance adjustments have been released. There are a few good ones in here. There's some, maybe not, but we're going to take a look. So, first things first, Jet Jaguar 2021 is finally getting a boost. He's getting an increase to his HP, an increase to his attack, and an increase to the number of nullified attacks. Now, he already can block two. This could just mean he blocks three. I hope this means he blocks at least four. However, pretty much everything that hits multiple times, uh, what's their names? Super X, uh, the Shin, no, not Shinden, Super X, Desgadora, the new Gamera, what's his name that jumps and slashes, uh, Gyron, They'll probably still run through this pretty effectively. Anything that already that has piercing, uh, anything that's already running through the Jet Jaguar shields is probably going to continue to run through them. This might just make him a lot better in the short term, which is fine. I really like this Jet Jaguar a lot. I think he's been a beater for a little while. And uh, hopefully with this, he sees a lot more play. Next is a unit that I didn't think needed any kind of adjustment is the classic Space Godzilla increased to HP and increased in crystal generation speed he's already halfway decent the crystals are spawning every seven or eight seconds I think it is so if they're spawning every six seconds now that would be good that would be phenomenal um, get the damage boost to be a little bit more consistent increased HP is fine I, I, I thought that he had already like pretty decent stats but, I mean, more HP is always good. I'm not going to complain. They want him to be around a little bit longer. They want him to be generating more crystals. That's fine by me. So, that is the Space Godzilla changes. Next are these two. Which I didn't think was going to happen for a long time. Either of these ones. Megalon. Increased attack. Cool. Strengthened the attack power reduction effect. This could make Megalon. Oh my god, I think it's on my. This could make Megalon a pretty decent substitute for GMK Godzilla. We have to see what his attack is going to be, but he's always going to be throwing out this debuff. And if the debuff is now better than what it was, because it's pretty low at the moment. What is it, like 10%? It's whatever GMK Godzilla does, but his main attack is a little bit weak. Still three costs, so. Increase to his attack, we're going to see how that shakes up, and then strengthen the attack power reduction. Could this help Megalon C play in rank 66 plus? I doubt it. I, I don't think this is really going to be any kind of huge significant change to Megalon. I think this is a nice change to Megalon, but unless this attack boost is something that is like actually absurd, I don't think this is going to matter. This would be great for all-star battle. Uh, I have Megalon at like level 12 or something like that. I like him. I like him a lot. I think he is halfway decent. So hopefully that's something. This one is surprising. This I think is maybe the first air base adjustment since season one of the game. When I got um, when I get nerfed. Air base lower the cost. Increase the facility operating time and increased unit generation speed and then the helicopters themselves got an increase to an attack and increased range Airbase meta unironically no, um, I, I still don't think that this is going to be Good. I mean if this is like a three cost maybe three if it was like three cost and then it made like nine or ten total choppers because at the moment it only makes seven and then if you, if you have mecha godzilla um if you have mecha godzilla you can make nine so if the unit speed generation speed is faster maybe now we can make like 10 before mecha godzilla's boost this could be something i still think it's not great no one's gonna use airbase there's no way you're gonna end up running airbase over something like the chibis over something like even the regular Chibi Godzilla over Manila. There's just no way. I will be trying this out for sure. 
Uh, I, I, I can't imagine this is any good. So, with all of these buffs, I think the most promising one is Jet Jaguar and Space Godzilla. I think Megalon... I, I am excited to see Megalon. I, I don't think it's going to really matter so much. And then Airbase is a pleasant surprise. I also don't think it's going to matter so much. If we can parse any hints out of this buffs... You know, <laughs> if we can parse any hints out of this... Because sometimes Toho likes to buff characters that are semi or quasi related to what's coming next. Uh, I'm just going to point out that Megalon and a Jet Jaguar are getting buffs. Not from the same year Jet Jaguar, but a Megalon and a Jet Jaguar are getting buffs. So maybe we get something related to them. Uh, Space Godzilla is getting a buff. Maybe we get something like a little baby Godzilla, something related to him. And then Air Base. Maybe we get, I don't know, more bases. I don't know. So that's that for all of the buffs and nerfs. So they have a little thing down here. You can participate on Twitter. It says, that includes the balance adjustments. Going forward, we will continue to making adjustments to Godzilla Battleline to ensure all players can enjoy monster fill battles. It has been almost two months since the introduction of the battle memory feature. We hope you have enjoyed trying out the new battle memories to strengthen your favorite units and change up your strategy with unique combinations. Going forward, we will, add battle we will be adding battle memories with conditions for the activation of skill effects. We don't have anything for skill effects along with the battle memories that have both powerful, positive, and negative effects. If there, if there are any skill effects you'd like to see added to the game, we'd love to hear from you. Please let us know what battle memories you hope to see in Godzilla Battleline, including the kinds of skill effects and which battle pieces you want to strengthen. Just post on X, formerly Twitter, using this hashtag, hashtag Godzilla Battleline Memory. We will hope to continue monster showdowns from the Godzilla Expedition, Expiration Team, Expedition Team, Operation Team, fuck. All right, so... If you want to suggest anything regarding battle memories, and you have Twitter, even Twitter's free, make a Twitter account, tweet at them, use this hashtag Godzilla Battle Line Memory, and maybe they'll listen to you. I woke up this morning, I saw a few people already doing it. I thought this was just a trend on Twitter. I didn't realize it was in the blog post until I read it. So, if you got Twitter, go ahead and do this. I'm probably going to leave one later. On my, on my drive to work, I'll think of some battle memories that I'd like to see. But I'm also going to think of some changes. That I would like to see the battle memories regarding the um, amount of tickets that we get every season for free. Because you really are not getting a lot of gacha tickets for free. And at the moment it's like, what, like a hundred bucks for ten pulls. And then that's equivalent to, or it's a hundred bucks for ten of the ten spins. And then, and then you can use the pity system to buy one card but in one season that's like not really happening so i think the battle memories are still a little bit too hard to get uh, it is the early days of them so this is to be expected a lot of times games when they add new currencies or new uh uh stuff like this it's hard to get like marvel strike force whenever they add a new gear tier or new iso 8 or something like that it is hard to get uh and then eventually it becomes easier uh i just think it's a little too hard to get overall and i think a lot of people are not happy about it so Leave your comments to them on Twitter with that hashtag. What do you guys think of the balance adjustments for the next season? I'm kind of excited, but I don't know how... I, I, I feel like these are going to be mostly inconsequential, but we'll have to wait and see. So, that is what I got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.